And to South Sudan, as the continent's newest country comes together, the media there is seeking direction amid the many challenges facing the East African nation. VOA's Caroline Turner explains. Radio is still the main source of information for most citizens in South Sudan. More than 30 radio stations broadcast across the country. Many were created by churches and community organizations backed by international donors. According to Reporters Without Borders, South Sudan dropped 12 places in a recent Free Press Index to 124 out of 180 countries ranked a result of the heavy-handed tactics used by security forces in dealing with journalists. The issue of helping journalists grow their skills and develop media in South Sudan has been linked to the overall development of the country. The United Nations is currently working with local institutions to help train students to be professional journalists. The capacities of the media practitioners, the professionals, um, is not at the international matching the international levels, of course. Uh, you have a lot of challenges in this new country, educational challenges, infrastructure. Uh, so one of the main priorities that we are looking at now is building the capacity of the media practitioners in general. So we are working with the University of Juba, uh, trying to review the curriculum of the School of Journalism so that we bring this to a professional level to allow a better caliber of, uh, of professionals in the sector and at the same time embed the basic principles of safety. A media bill is currently being discussed in South Sudan's National Assembly to create guidelines for the functioning of journalists within the country. There is hope that a common ground can be reached so the media in the nation can improve and raise their journalistic standards. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.